Welcome to Angela Spizzabee's Garden and Homestead. Guys, today I'm out on the balcony and just want to give you an update of how things are doing, how things are looking, some of the issues that I'm having here on the balcony. And of course, um, this balcony, I think, gets the most attention out of all of my gardens um, here on the homestead primarily because it's right off of my bedroom and so I'm able to come out here at any time of the day or night to water fertilize or what have you and I tend to do that more than I do to the other gardens um, but as you can see here right here on the garden this is my uh, tiered planter of broccoli and as you can see I've got all sorts of bites uh, I can't see what type of insect it is. It's not aphids. I don't think it's the little uh, cabbage um, moth or caterpillar. Uh, I can't see any insects on it. But what I've done is I have dusted it um, with some diatomaceous earth, which is organic. Um, and it's not harmful to humans or to pets. So I'm just going to see what's going to happen. I'm just praying that it doesn't affect the center part of the broccoli because, of course, that's where my broccoli head will sprout out from. Um, but the leaves, of course, are also edible, and so I'm just really concerned uh, by all this damage. Hopefully, um, whatever it is, the diatomaceous earth will take care of it. Um, if any of you have an idea of what it might be or what else I could use, um, please leave a comment uh, for me. But as you can see here, um, I've placed a petunia in this little bird cage, and um, I have some morning glories that are starting to trellis up on onto this lattice here. More flowers. I've planted some onions down in the bottom here. Lots of flowers. Here are my collards in my tiered planter. Peppers are starting to come on. Strawberries are starting to put on fruit. More flowers. Another pepper here, and it's also putting on fruit. Here is my kale. And I had a big harvest of kale about two, two and a half weeks ago. And as you can see, it looks like I am able to do another harvest. I've also seen some bites on here. So what you're looking at is just that diatomaceous earth, uh, which is a white or off-white powdery substance. Another pepper here, bell pepper. And another one here. They are putting on fruit. So here, guys, this is where I had, um, well, where I have my herbs right here. Um, I've got some parsley, and there's some sage in here, and basil. But all the rest of the cells, I've placed some more collards. Trying to grow more in 2024. More flowers here. And onions here at the bottom. Wait a minute. This is a weed. Well, it's not a weed. It's from that hackberry tree. You can see how it just seeds itself. Some lilies here. Z 
Zinnias. More flowers. Another pepper. I've sold some seeds for some more corn. Here's my lemon balm and azalea. More flowers. And guys, would you look at my beets and my celery? Absolutely beautiful. Look at this celery, guys. This is the best celery I have ever grown. In the past, they are usually so skinny, but these are nice size. I can do some harvesting, I can tell. Here's some more of those trees trying to grow. I'm going to remove them because they are taking nutrients away from my vegetables. Look like I see one more. Sorry about that, guys. But yes, this is my celery and beets, and they are looking beautiful. I've got a plant back here. Uh, it wasn't doing well inside, but looks like it is putting on foliage here, so this might be a great spot for it. Here I have tomatoes and some basil. That's a weed. Tomatoes are looking good. And then over here in the hanging baskets, I've got more flowers. And guys, over here, I have some Swiss chard on the table here. And I've dusted it also with diatomaceous earth, just in case. But as I was panning around, guys, I did not notice this bell pepper right here. Would you look at that? I didn't see it. And on the table here, I have this yellow flower here. These are some more transplants. These are collards. This is some collards. And these are collards. And here, these are my heavy hitter okra that I need to go and transplant into the garden. And here's some more of the Swiss chard. And I harvested off of this Swiss chard the same time that I did the kale. And um, it is ready for another harvesting as well. And of course, I've dusted it also with a little diatomaceous earth to prevent bug damage. But there you have it, guys. This is what the balcony is looking like as of today. Um, over here, I have more peppers, some beans here. And looks like they are putting on some beans. Can't wait. And of course, I've got more flowers. And over here on the floor here, this is my mint. These are some um, kale seedlings I've started. And this is my wandering Jew. I just stuck some pieces in here. Hopefully it'll fill out this uh, basket soon. But there you have it, guys. This is what the balcony is looking like. I just absolutely love flowers. And um, my children know how much I love flowers. And so Mother's Day is always very sweet. 
um, for me because um, I receive a lot of money to get flowers for my garden and I just absolutely love it and um, I know you can see the chicks over there in their chicken coop it's time for me to go down now and um, give them their breakfast and make sure they've got enough water for the day it's been so hot here in Tennessee growing zone 7b We had a period in which we were receiving lots of rain, and then we also had tornado warnings, and I had some damage to one of my peach trees, and I'll share that with you in another video. Um, but guys, this is what the balcony is looking like. Leave me a comment if you know what's biting the leaves of my vegetables, because I cannot see Whatever the insect is, a bug, I can't see it with the, the naked eye. Okay, guys. God bless. See you in the next video.